Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Today I will discuss the total aid provided by the Western countries to Ukraine. This is according to uh, Jens Stoltenberg, the chief of uh, NATO, whatever his title is, and he uh, just tells us how much money, how many billions of dollars were taken from you and from me and given to Ukraine. And because uh, it's easier and better to understand a, a concept by uh, putting it in perspective and by comparing it with other things, uh, we'll see if it's a lot, if it's not a lot, if it's unacceptable, if they need to do more. Okay, so let's start. This article comes from uh, Russia Today. It is from February 8, 2023. NATO chief reveals size of Ukraine funding. Jens Stoltenberg said Kiev has received $120 billion from the West so far. All right, $120 billion. The US-led military bloc has sent the government in Kiev over $100 billion over the past year. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg said on Wednesday in a joint press conference with U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken in Washington. Since last February, NATO has provided, and I'm quoting, unprecedented support to Ukraine around $120 billion in military, humanitarian, and financial assistance, Stoltenberg told reporters at the State Department. While the U.S. has played the indispensable role, Canada and the European members have contributed, and I'm quoting, over half of the overall assistance, including tanks, half of 120 is at basically 60, okay? Including tanks, advanced air defense systems, and other weapons, he added. According to Blinken, the U.S. has contributed nearly $30 billion worth of military aid while other NATO members gave $13 billion as well as, and I'm quoting, tens of billions more in humanitarian and economic support. Remember, when is that economic and humanitarian support? That comes from the citizens of those countries. So it's like you take from your children's uh, mouth food and you give it to the neighbor's children's, okay, to eat. Basically, the, what's going on. So they take from your children, my children, and give it to their children. That's the humanitarian and economic support. Blinken also said that, uh, I'm quoting, tilting the battlefield in Ukraine's favor, end quote, is the key to the eventual diplomatic solution of the conflict. I don't think so, because the diplomatic solution would be a total rape of Russia. That's my assessment of that one. After they joined press events, Stoltenberg and Blinken went to, to meet the U.S. Defense, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin and National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan with even more funding for Ukraine on the agenda. Then they visited a whorehouse and they uh, snort, snorted some powder. All right, let's move on. In December, the Russian Defense Ministry estimated that the collective West, collective West, has provided Ukraine with 94, 97 billion dollar worth of weapons. So <clears throat> they provided 97 billion dollars, okay, of weapons, ammunition and supplies. Moscow has repeatedly warned the West that arming Ukraine only prolongs the conflict and risk direct confrontation. Okay, now we have some numbers, okay? Let's put them in the context of other numbers. So $120 billion from the West, the West so far, I mean, everything in humanitarian, okay? Let's see how much, does, how much did the United States of America pay for its education spending over 10 years, right? So, if keep in mind the 100 and what? 120 or 130? 120, right? Let's go back, let's go to this. This is a uh, little study from the educator, blah, blah, blah. How much is spent on US education, okay? So let's see, it's 3%, less than 3% from the spend, uh, federal spending. And we find the spending from 2005 to 2019 in billions of dollars, all right? In 2000, let's go back to the nitty gritty, 2018, right? In 2018, United States allocated 70, 70.2 billion dollars for its education for the whole year. And these guys re received 120 billion aid overall. 
how much did UK administrate for the uh, education? In 2022, it gave 100 billion, I guess, in uh, dollars, I'm assuming, because it doesn't say anything in billion GDP. It doesn't say dollars, but I'm guessing it's the dollars because I don't think this is a, uh, a uh, British uh, statista, it's not a British uh, site. So Great Britain used 100, and 100, about 100 billion. And if you go to 2020 to 2021, it was 95 billion. You say, oh, hey, it's okay, it's not that much. So remember, double, I mean, it's the same amount, the all together, but now take it by country. So <clears throat> US contributed nearly 30 billion's worth of military aid. So military aid was 30 billion to one country. I will look at defense budget by country. So now I will be looking the 30 billion dollar that United States gave to uh, Ukraine, MOCA, for not even a year, because it started in February, so far. Uh, it's 30 billion, and I will take country by country and see how much other countries on this planet, uh, what's their budgets, okay? And it's something else here in this little uh, uh, article, it's something about 60, where is the 60? So this is the 30. All right, while other NATO members gave 13. Okay, so where's the 60? I can't remember when I saw that somewhere. No, 97, I'm sorry. So in December, the Russian Defense Ministry estimated that the collective West has provided Ukraine with 97 billion worth of weapons, ammunition and supplies. So well, almost 100 billion. But if is the, this is the Russian Defense Ministry, okay? So let's go back to Blinken with 30 billion only from uh, from uh, United States so far, even though I know it's more because I saw our articles. But let's go with 30 billion, and the other one is 13. So that's what? It's 43, okay, 45, let's put it 45, okay? And let's see the budgets, 45 billion, defense budgets by country, 2023. So United States has 64.5% of this, you know, if you put China, Russia, India, Germany. Anyway, so you said what? 45? 45 would put right here behind Saudi Arabia on it's, it's gonna it would put it with France. So France budget in 2023 was 45 billion dollars. 46 is 45.9. So 46. And these guys here, I would say 30 with 13, let's say, even if I put it at 43, okay, let's be conservative. 43, we'll put it below France. So it's going to have more budget Ukraine had last year than South Korea, Japan, Italy, Canada, even Canada. Ukraine is right here right now, right here in 2023. But this, I don't know when this was made. 14 place, even above Israel, Turkey. This is unbelievable. Poland, and Poland helps helps Ukraine. And that's that's not it, according to, to, to this article. And which are the first ones here? It's, it's not far away from United Kingdom, Saudi Arabia and France. And then, then what? Russia is at 82 now, because they increased. China, 230 billion. United States, 761. But I know the budget is 840 or something now, billion. Let's go down and see what other countries have. Brazil, 18 billion. Netherlands, 15. Spain, let's see, what else? That's all I have here. I don't know. Well, it's more than that. Just look around, around this, this country, Iraq. Iraq that we fought has 5 billion, 0.7. And we fought and we... Look at Iran. Look at Iran. The big, the big, uh, big uh, terrorist state. 5.5 billion, five Romania, 5 billion. Oh my, uh, this Hungary, 4.5, but it has half of the Romanian population or something. Anyway, so this is it, 5 billion Iran, and you have Ukraine with 45, 43. Now you tell me. So I put it in the context, because when you, for instance, are told that uh, the inflation is only, 
in, per year, imagine that they would give you a raise of 9%. Put it every time someone tells you it's only 9% or only 12% or it dropped to 12% yet celebrate, then you say, okay, why don't you raise, uh, give me a raise, my income 12% or 11%. And immediately you will realize that's a lot. Or you say, okay, just uh, the gas just, uh, uh, you know, uh, increased, the price increased for uh, 12%. So let's say you had one, $1 a gallon, now you get 112. Would that, would that be okay? No. Why would you, what if you will get 12% discount or certain things on food, for instance, on electricity? So you see, always put it in a context. The same with this, uh, this $120 billion overall. Who has $120 billion? A few countries only, a few countries. So remember, everything that goes over there comes from you and your families and my, me and my families without even being asked. But you know what? They know better. That's the whole point. They know better. And since we work through democracy, we voted one time and they can do whatever they want. Four years, five years, six years, depends how uh, big their term is. Great? Great. Go and vote next time again. Play the same game. Chick-clink. chick clink chick And you're winning all the time. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.